Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a team changing GUI. So let's get straight into it. All right, so I'm going to be making this from scratch in my Roblox studio. So try your best to follow along. So first of all, first uh, you want to go to the top, click on model, go to the right where it says service and click on that. You're going to want to click on teams and click insert. Now you will find that on the right in your explorer. It says teams with a little soccer ball. You're going to click on the plus button to add a team and uh, you can add as many as you want. I'm just going to add two. You can call this whatever you I'm just going to call this red team and then we have blue team and you can set the colors of them so if you set team color you can set that to blue nope that's red and you can set this to blue and that's the setup for the teams now let's start with the GUI go to the top click home click UI click on screen GUI this will make a new GUI add a text button and drag it to where you want for example here and, and name it something for example let, let's call this red button and then I'll add a, another button that says blue button so I'm gonna call this a blue button and uh, drag it over here all right you should also name your screen GUI something else so I'll just call this change change team GUI all right that's change team GUI all right that's the setup you want to select your buttons and change the text so it says red for example I'm just gonna call red button I, I can set the text to red team and then for the other one I can set it to blue team and also check on text scaled so the text will scale up so you can actually see it. Alright now I'm gonna add a local script inside the change team GUI and uh, you're gonna want to define some variables so first of all I'm gonna make a variable for the red button so I'm gonna call this red button and you set that to the script.parent.red button if you have the same setup as me and blue button, it's the same thing except script.parent.blue button. And you're also going to want to make a new event. So go into your replicated storage, click on the plus button, and click remote event. Call that remote event something like change team event. And that's that. And also make a variable for that. So local event equals a game get service. You have to get service for the replicated storage dot change team event. So after you've done that, you're going to want to make two functions for a red team change and a blue team change. So we're going to make a local function. We're going to call this red team. Uh, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to leave it empty. I'm just going to make another one. Blue team like that and basically uh, this is going to be fire when one of the buttons is pressed so when the red team buttons are pressed you're going to want to fire server uh, you're going to want to put a colon and click fire and type in fire server and this will basically tell the server that there's a team change so you're going to pass along red for example and then the same and, and in the blue function you're going to fire server but instead of red you're going to fire blue uh, that's just how I like to set it up and connect them to your button. So red button dot mouse button one click. You're going to connect that to your red team function. Uh, no parentheses. And the blue button, same thing for the blue button, mouse button one click and connect that to your blue team button. All right, that's it for the local script. All right. Now you're going to want to make a new script in your script server script service. And I'm just going to call the script uh, change team script. Basically, all you need to define for variables is the event. So I'm going to call this event equals uh, game dot replicated storage dot change team event. So that's that. And basically, when you get the event, you're going to run a function. So let, I'm going to make a function called on team change, and we're going to pass in the player and the color. So basically, after that. You're going to want to check if the color is equal to red. If it is red, make sure to put a then there. If it is red, then we're going to get the player.team is equal to... Oh, and I forgot to define uh, the teams. You also have to make variables for the teams. So I'm going to call this red team is equal to game.teams.red team. No, uh, teams.red and local blue team is equal to game.teams.blue. All right, so if the color is red, then we're going to set the player.team to red team. And uh, else, which means the color is going to be blue, then you're going to set player.team is equal to blue team. 
All right, now let's test out our code. Oh, no, we're not done yet. We have to bind this to the event. So we're going to say event dot on server event. And we're going to connect that to the on team change function. Now this should work. Let's click play and see what happens. All right, so you can see in the top right on the uh, on the list of players, you can see red and blue team. If I click on blue team, it will change me to blue team. If I click on red team, it will, it will change to red team. So that's pretty much it. Yeah, and uh, if you want the code, I will put it up on my website. I have a special link. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's uh, pretty simple. All you need to know is about events and GUI and connect. So yeah, so hopefully you learned something. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments. Uh, code will be up uploaded to my website. Link will also be in the description. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. Bye, guys.